Hey you guys, what is good? It's Cam Ronan, aka Cam in the building, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, but today is SSH time, you know what I'm saying? Guys, I'm on a veil right now. 2K21, I'ma try to be as lit as Fredo, you know what I'm saying? It's not possible, okay? It's not possible. But I'ma try, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'ma try. But um yeah, today he posted a video, or last night, something like that. Agent Zero is cancelled, exposing the truth of, from the fraud. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm the most in-the-middle person in this. I love Fredo's videos, okay? I think he's, like, by far one of the most entertaining people on YouTube. Obviously, you know, he's a little, he's done a little questionable things in the past. Obviously, I don't care about the fake pranks, none of that kind of stuff. It's just entertainment to me, okay? Agent Zero, I think he's a good person. I watch all his videos as well. I watch his podcast even. Like, I listen to it every single day. Like, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So the fact that I have beef is, yeah. I, I'm more surprised not that Agent Zero is calling him out because Agent Zero is, like, almost a drama channel at this point. I'm very, very surprised at the fact Fredo is responding. Fredo does not respond, okay? <laughs> like, like... The last person I think you'd get a response from would be Fredo. But, um, he's actually responding, okay? So, it's a 25-minute video. I'm gonna just sit back, listen to his points, and, and let, let's see what they got to say, okay? Before we get into the video, guys, as you guys can see, I'm not subscribed to Fredo on my second channel. I am, am a long-term subscriber on my main channel. But before we get into the video, guys, smash that like and subscribe button. I would really really appreciate it let's check this out i'm promoting this how much money am i taking away from your shit, bro zero come on bro L let me say Not this okay, again bro. how much money am i taking away from your youtube channel no he giving him a ton of money you guys already know ssh guys fredo has the most hardcore fan base they don't go over in spam Agent, okay, even when Fredo did his apology video, everyone was hating him on Twitter. When Fredo posts his video, he still has a crazy like to dislike ratio. No one else is doing that, okay? Everyone else would be getting so much hate. Fredo's fan base, he, he got one of the most lit, dedicated, hardcore fan bases. No cap. Not one penny. How much money am I taking away from any member in SSH YouTube channel? Bro, not a cent, bro. Not a <laughs> single dime. But you know what? Y'all didn't know that. Y'all thought I was finessing these. Y'all thought I was using these. No, I really want to see these come up and eat the same way that I am. So how can they not show me the same love? I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even know anyone other than Malik had a YouTube channel, and I just thought they were all just living off right up. That to I'm be sure honest, them. that's crazy, bro. Just because y'all don't see it, right. don't mean that it's not. It's not there. SSH is a brotherhood. You are the type of person to kick a man when it's down. I thought they were just all his editing team and stuff. I don't know what, what their relationship is. I thought they were just their videographers and editors, to be honest. I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Has this ever posted anything positive about me? Of course not. In these three to five years, have y'all ever seen them post anything positive? Come on now. A YouTube video, I just a tweet, know. anything. I just know you haven't. I'm not saying, you know what I'm saying? Clearly, I'm wrong. Right. But I just know you haven't, bro. So why the f would I listen to a only point out my mistakes and doesn't praise me when I'm up. I'm not saying that I need praise when I'm up, but don't kick a man when he's down because you have that opportunity. Like, that's some sucker. You an eater, my nigga. You are opportunist. That's what opportunists do. They wait until they have an opportunity to kick you while you're down. Okay, I'm gonna be pausing this video. As I said, I like both of these people, okay? I'm a defend agent right here, okay? For one, bro, what is he gonna say? Guys, today on, uh, what, what's Agent Beamstar show? Guys, it's Agent Beamstar here, and today, guys, Fredo made a positive donation, guys. He dropped a really good video, guys. I'm sure you guys could check. Why the hell would Agent Zero do that, okay? That literally doesn't make sense. What is his title gonna be? Wow. Pretty Boy Fredo posted a good video. <laughs> like, like, what is he supposed to do? It's his job, okay? If Fredo's like faking videos or whatever, he's gonna clickbait it because you have a giant audience, okay? That that's not even that's just being smart, okay? Like there's nothing wrong with that. And uh <laughs> yeah, like what's he gonna do? Like, oh guys, Fredo posted a good video today. That's crazy. <laughs> 
and they never want to praise you while you up. I guarantee you this never said anything positive about me ever in his entire ever. life. You fanned out, you capped out, and you glazied out, my nigga. You got this down your throat. And I'm going to tell you guys. That's actually not true. Agent has said that Fredo makes entertaining content. He said it, okay? That's the worst part about it all. This kid had his fans spamming me on Twitter death threats to my daughter. To my child. An innocent being. How disgusting and a pig you are. You okay, I'm not laughing at you. He twisted this real hard. Agent Zero that said nothing like that, okay? That's just people being wrong, okay? That's just people being wrong. Agent got nothing to do with that. He did not send, say go send hate or anything like that. You do not deserve a channel. You are canceled. And as a father, it's on site, bro. You are a scum, you are a pig, and you are a clown. And you will be canceled. <laughs> he twisted that hard. Yo. Yo. Rolls in this day. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, man. Let me get in there. Let me get in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got a nice right can, I got a car, yo. Yeah. Sorry, you right. Sorry, you right. Sorry, you right. Hey, before this video gets started, man, I want to start this video on a positive note. Me being a black man in America and seeing all the injustice, racism, and all just the crazy stuff, the real stuff that's going on in the real world, I want to continue to push the narrative that black lives matter. And also, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, you know, support black colleges, man. Me being a black man, this means everything to me to even be sponsored by this company because they stand for everything that I absolutely stand for. I feel like it's extremely important to support black brands, support black businesses. So I'm gonna show love and support to support black colleges. And not only that, they have this really dope merchandise. I had to get the gray joint because the gray joint, you know what I'm saying, oh, drippy, real big drip. But if you check out their website, supportblackcolleges.org and use the promo code Fredo, you'll get a discount on your next purchase. I highly suggest you guys to support their brand. They stand for a beautiful call. Black Lives Matter, man. I gotta say it. Today's video is gonna be I can't tell if he's doing it for a sponsorship. Obviously, he could just believe in the cause, okay? But Fredo does seem to do this, like, he's like... You know, he trying to, he try, he try to... Before the video gets off, guys, I'm a daughter, I... I'm a daughter. I'm a father of a daughter. Family's all that matters to me. Black Lives Matter, guys. Is it PR? Is it PR? I'm not saying it is, okay? I'm not saying it is. It could be the sponsor. Very what do you guys think? Like, I usually don't like. Is he twisting the narrative super hard at the start for you guys to hate Agent? Guys, like, Agent is sending death threats to my daughter. Guys, Black Lives Matter. So he's try, he trying to put Agent down, trying to put himself up. Is it just because of the sponsor, or is he doing that on purpose? Or like, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Like, cause I just really don't care. I'm just gonna be honest. Like, I just don't care. <laughs> I have so much other shit going on in my life. But the boy Cam, steady bugging me and begging me to react to this video. That's it. Like, I know you guys, if you're an Agent fan, you guys are probably gonna be like, no, you wanted to react to Agent, Agent's got a call out now. Nah, Fredo doesn't react to anyone. That's actually believable, okay? And what is your, what's, bro, your, what's, like, your, what's your reasoning, bro? What's, bro, you gotta react to this man, bro. I don't know who this person is. I've never seen this kid a That's day in cap. my life. I don't know who this kid <laughs> is. Cap. And um, supposedly, how many videos had bro, this nigga? He had like one, two, three, <laughs> but he can keep going like until like, I think he had like at least 10, bro. 10 what? 10, 10 what? Bro, at least 10 glizzies in his mouth. <laughs> So he needed that quick check, huh? Yeah, he need that quick check. He need bro. that quick check. Oh, yeah, hey, it's cool. Like, I'm gonna be honest. When I see the whole pretty boy Fredo exposed, like I understand. Like, one video, you know, get your check, get your, get your money right. Two videos. That's a problem. Bro. All right, my nigga, you you stretching it, bitch. You know what I'm saying? But you, you trying to get your son right. Yeah. Third video. Get the glick out your mouth, my nigga. Bro. You got ketchup sliding down the side of your face like that. That's tough. Get it out your mouth. He had me hot. So like, I he had, had you mad? Yes, bro. I had to tell you, like, I had to tell you about it. Like, you got to check that, like, now, bro. Like, I'm still mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad. 
I know you, you know what I'm saying, you can't speak on stuff every time, like, but yeah. it's just been going on way too much, bro. Like, how long he, has he been making these videos for? Bruh, at least three, four, five years, bro. Like, he's years? a glizzy gladiator, Four, five bruh. years? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> like, I got you, man. I'm gonna search it off, bro. What, what's your name? Oh, you can just type in Pretty Boy Fredo. <laughs> Brunet. All you gotta do is type Pretty Boy Fredo. Text him up, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that's not a good thing to say agent's video comes up before yours, but... Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna just put Pretty Boy Fredo exposed. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't comment his videos with the glizzy man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The glizzy man. For real. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yo! Wait, what did you actually look ah. up? What did you look up? Pretty Boy Fredo. Uh, yeah, he said he didn't know his name. He put agent ah. at the end. Yo! Wait, how many videos does he actually have on Friday? He actually does have four videos. <laughs> Yo! He should have signed up for the talents, the glitzy globby. But I'm telling you, twenty-five. Bro, uh, twenty-five. Minutes. This nigga, twenty-five minutes. Twenty-five minutes. Twenty-five minutes. My girl don't even suck for twenty-five. Now I'm gonna just tell you off rip before we even click the video. Fredo, no one is fine for an apology. As well. Who the hell apologized to you, nigga? Bro, <laughs> I don't know who this man is. Other who, than who the f are you? <laughs> who are you? Yo. And why am I apologizing? That's crazy. To you? Or anyone that has any relation to you or any? What? The apology was for. The supporters that came out to the SSA's charity, Black Lives Matter charity event. It was a charity event where I donated $40,000 of my own money to Black Lives Matter and $40,000 now also to COVID-19 uh, relief funds of my own money, all right? I'm apologizing to those people by possibly putting them in risk. Yes, we were there for a good, we were there for a good cause, but it was wrong timing, but I don't even know who the you are to be apologizing to you. Why his name is Glizzy Gladiator. Bro. He's the glit. He's the glit guy. He's uh, the glit guy. Straight <laughs> eater, bro. You are eater. <laughs> You're a eater. Like only a eater, you know, like gossip and all that shit. Only females do that. We call them nah, eaters. My nigga, this is some dick eating shit. My nigga, 25 minutes. Yo. That's some dick eating shit. And I'm gonna tell you the crazy thing about this, bro. What if my daughter in the future searched up my and see some cap ass nigga like this that ain't never seen me in real life ever. You ain't never seen me in real life, bro. Never. Um, I know you never will <laughs> on some scary. I know you never will, but imagine my daughter search this shit up and see this from some some lame ass nigga, bro. Like, what? I would never even. I wouldn't ever even take my time out to do some shit like that. The fact that you had. What do you guys think would happen if they actually met? I feel honestly, I feel like Pretty Boy Fredo has more to lose than Agent. Because I feel like it's on brand for Agent just to be like, oh, hi Fredo, how's it going? <laughs> like, I feel like that's just on Fredo's, like, on Agent's brand. But I don't know what Fredo would have to do. Like, I feel like, like, Fredo I'm has the most to lose. Probably... And he probably, like, like, he's the most positive person on the internet. Like, he'd be like, he's a hater, guys. So I feel like. And I don't feel like Fredo would do anything at this point, okay? I don't feel like he cares enough. I don't feel like anything. I feel like it'd be... <laughs> I don't know what would happen. What comment down below would you guys think would happen if they actually met up? A good two hours of just sitting down. Like, that shit's sad, man. It's honestly sad. Uh, Go ahead and start that bitch up, bro. Start uh, it up. Start it up. Man, I've been on YouTube for about a decade now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Two seconds, we two seconds into the video right now, bro. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I would never hang out with you in real life, and I'm not even finna bully you. Like, I'm not even, like, you're not even somebody, I'm not even finna bully you. I'm not even on that type of time. I don't care. Like, it was funny because I posted some on Instagram, and they were like, yo, um, you fat shame, man. I would never even, like, why would I even diss this kid? Why? There's no purpose. Like, you. You look like you go through some hard nights, my nigga, alone. <laughs> I would not, I wouldn't even bother doing that, bro. Like, but you a reactor, bro? Shit, my head hurts my wife. None of this shit at all, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is bad, bro. Very bad. SSHNYC. Let's see this. Oh, what do you say? Is he roasting his second channel? Yeah, bro, like, but you a reactor, bro? I honestly wouldn't watch none of this shit at <laughs> all, bro. Like, this is bad, bro. Very bad. SSHNYC. Let's see this. Takeover. 
Yeah, SSH really lit. Shout out to New York, man. Really yeah. show love. Yeah. SSH, love. hey. You know, you know what's crazy? Niggas hate to see love, bro. Oh, I was just about to say that. Niggas hate to, to see that. that. Bro, yo, this shit's... When they seen New York come out for us, bro. niggas enraged. Bro. Like, you know what's crazy, bro? I'm gonna tell bro, you what's crazy, so bro. What the f does this have to do with fake videos? <laughs> niggas coming out supporting. What right. the f does this have to do with Predator or any of that? What does this have to do with any of that? This was an excuse. <laughs> this is this is how you know Fredo is like. As I said, guys, I'm a big fan of Fredo, okay? I like his videos. But, as I said, I'm taking the objective opinion right here as someone that, like, has watched pretty much all of A2's videos, watched all his podcasts and everything. <laughs> guys, one of our H and Zero's biggest points on his podcast and, like, the main video that he blew up on Fredo was uh, Predators are making... Like, he Fredo's fake videos are making the world a worse place. Where he was d making fun of Fredo for uh, the fake Predator videos, all right? So he kn Fredo knows that's the biggest point. This video right here about the COVID, uh, about what SSH takeover or whatever in New York City has literally barely anything to do with that, okay? So <laughs> that's how you know Fredo be watching the videos because he trying to bring up the points before, like, <laughs> you guys know what I'm trying to say. I can't speak right or now. Any of that. But what does this have to do with any of this? This was an excuse to make a video to then put your own uh, de uh, de derogatory mindset towards someone. Like this has nothing, this literally has nothing to do. Irrelevant. Like, irrelevant. Terrible. Push. I, I gotta see this, bro. Look at the hate on his like, face. Look at, bro, look at you're the face, You're bro. disgusted. Bro, he's disgusted. Like, I could just by that face, I know you just salty like inside. Like, salty. Like, damn, man, like, like this nigga came from the 2K community and he's living like this, bro. Him and his nigga going crazy like this. And bro. I'm still here, like, like a decade on, later, bro. making like, videos. This is, bro, this is sad, bro. The, bro, hold on. That, like, on a serious note, this is sad, bro, because this is jealousy and this is envy, my nigga. Yeah, this is the wrong time, but you see the love and support. Niggas don't like seeing that shit. When they right. saw that shit, bro, I know them niggas, not, their stomachs were hurting, bitch. Felicia into war! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it, Fredo. All right, so is it wildly irresponsible to have a whole group of your fans and people you're supposed to care about at a time like this? Yes. But it becomes Bro, this is an edited video. when you this find is out that just last week minutes. he uploaded a video saying he caught the Rona. Nah. Just okay. last week that I, I caught the Rona? My nigga, that shit was a month ago. See, like, that's with these... These, like you're eater, my nigga. That shit was a, a whole entire month ago. You get the timeline, you, you screw the timeline up. Say Fredo said he had COVID-19 a week ago. That's a lie, my nigga. That shit was over shit. a month ago. You're Have manipulating. Your ready, bro. You're manipulating <laughs> and making me seem like a liar and like I had COVID-19 when I was at the event. You a liar, my nigga. Stop. I'm not gonna lie, when I heard because I watched Fred one of Fredo's videos before I watched the agent video, so I already knew like the Fredo hadn't had the Rona in a month. And I was listening to Asian's point, and I was like, yeah, this is kind of invalid because you didn't watch Fredo's video. But then also, it's kind of like, it's not really, I don't think for, uh, Asian's point, I could be wrong. I don't think Asian's point is that, oh, he has the Rona, so he's going around and spreading it. It's more like he knew what it's like, he knows what it's like to go through it. So then why is he bringing all these people together? I'm capping on my name. Boy, Fredo video. I'm watching, but I'll be linked there. I'll go into it knowing it's fake. You have Pause, you can it. That's so cat. I don't watch it. <laughs> Nigga, you got your post notifications turned on. You're waiting to catch him slipping. You're waiting to catch him do something wrong. <laughs> your right. eyes. At this point, we've seen too much evidence. <laughs> now, if you missed the previous videos, I'll link you a couple years ago when I was excited. Bro, this thing of years right? ago, man. You Nigga. Years bro, ago, just, my nigga? Bro, how, you, how can that just come out your mouth like that? Oh, bro, I can link you a couple years ago when I was exposing. Yo, expo imagine what? even having the, uh, the 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 option to uh. do that. Like, yo, yo, check out my videos that I posted like a year ago, my nigga, because I'm still doing this. You mean to say you're doing the same shit you was doing last year and the year before that? I thought it was just him on a goddamn phone with somebody we were supposed to believe was a doctor saying he... I thought yo, you were watching. 
It's still more cat, bro. The entire COVID-19 video was not a video of me on the phone with someone. It was an entire video. I deleted the video because there was no purpose of me having it on my platform. I was moving to New York and I literally told everyone that I was gonna delete anything that had any type of negativity or just I didn't um, want on my channel. It's true, Fred deleted like 49 million views or something. You guys can see his social blood. Like, if, wait, if we zoom, go out. <sighs> Negative 46 million views this month. If we go, the fact that he's averaging 632,000 views a day, or he got 600,000 views today. We'll, we'll round it down a little because he just posted today. So we'll go like 400,000 views a day. I'll say that's fair, 400,000 um times by 30 so that's 12 million so he he cut out 58 million views on his channel so it definitely wasn't just that video he deleted a ton of videos but more live him donating money etc 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 and i talked about this on the podcast too i think that there's some benefit in that even though i know he's only doing it for pr sake when he donates in thanksgiving or whatever yo whatever you are big yo know. You nigga, wait, match up, nigga. Bro, you serious right now? Can't even match up. Hold on. So you, you, you just that? said that I'm donating because, like, for PR reasons. My nigga, do you know where the fuck I come from, bro? I'm from the hood, bro. I'm from the fucking yeah. hood, my nigga. I grew up and I didn't have shit, my nigga. I don't expect you to ever understand that, bro. You never gonna understand that. So you ain't gonna understand why I donate and I do the shit that I do. I don't expect no clown ass, glizzy, glizzy sucking ass nigga to understand what the fuck I, I don't. Again, I want to force the MB on agent side here. It doesn't necessarily have to be for PR, okay? Because you're giving your friend stuff, all that kind of stuff. I think it's more for the video, not for PR. I th honestly think, obviously, you don't any forty thousand dollars to COVID nineteen. It was 100% PR, okay? You can't tell me, guys. I wasn't donating money to COVID, then I did something wrong related to COVID and now I'm donating $40,000 to COVID. That's 100% PR. I don't necessarily, I think you you only donate for videos and that makes sense, right? Because if we look at the way Fredo lives, he has a pretty expensive lifestyle. If you guys watch a lot of his videos like I do, you guys know Fredo be dripped out in multiple different outfits. Like he, he has, he spends crazy money, okay? He does spend crazy money. And so it doesn't really make sense that he's super charitable. Unless he's just making 20 to X what I think he's making. That's all I'm saying. I don't expect you to understand, bro. I'm from the fucking hood, my nigga. I'm from the struggle. I want, I want to see how much Fredo has don donated outside of his YouTube channel. I guarantee you it's not a lot. All right? I didn't have shit. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. Because if you're donating the money, you're donating it regardless, okay? I actually have zero problem with you making the videos of it, okay? That's not my point, okay? I'm just kind of agreeing with agents. Some people think it's wrong. I think it's stupid to think it's wrong because at the end of the day, you're still donating the money and then you just make money back off it. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Shit, growing up. So every opportunity that I give to get back, I give back, nigga. I give back. What is the problem with that? What is the problem with showing that I want to be positive? Meanwhile, I got a motherfucker telling me I'm only donating for PR reasons. Nigga, I don't have to do that. I don't have to send. I don't have to show that. I'm going to be fine. If I donate to charity, it's, oh, you only donated to charity. Look good. My nigga, I'm actually I'm black. <laughs> I'm black. If I decide to support my brothers, it's because I actually care. Can I not care about being Black? Can I not care about the struggle and the pain that my black man fucking go through? What? But no, it's for publicity. So if I donate, it's for publicity. If I don't, oh, you know what I'm saying? You, you don't donate, you don't like, you racist. You don't like black people. Like, it's always something, bro. It's always, like, you can't win with an eater, bro. Like, <laughs> you, you can't, really can't. Like, like. You actually can't win. There's a hundred percent facts, right? Because if you talk about it, if you be like, guys, I donated, you donated sixty thousand dollars to Black Lives Matter, COVID, whatever. Then everyone's like, yo, why are you gonna announce it? Why are you trying to tell everyone? But if you don't announce it, that no one knows you do it, and because Fredo spends so much money, we instantly assume that he's not donating. So he, he right, he literally can't win. Like, 
yo, this nigga is the glizzy champion. Like, you can't win with somebody like this because no matter what you say, they gon' flip it. Yeah. How many times have you come to me on some low key shit? Yeah. Through the text, bro. About some family shit, and what did I do? Came through. You can't, bro. It's not even just like that. Y'all niggas don't even see that. But like us, the brothers that he have a be around, we say that shit on a daily, bro. So like, if you had a chance to meet this nigga for real, for real, bro, like in person, you'll see like all that shit you saying is just cap, and you just hating on another nigga. And you know it's crazy, like, yo, shout out to my bros though, for real. Cause niggas saying, oh, yes man, yes man, all this bullshit, right? Why wouldn't they ride for a nigga that's putting them on to better themselves and their family as well? Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they show me the same love that I, that I show them? Exactly. I know this nigga since eighth fucking grade. Niggas say that you Hollywood, you this and that, you this and that. How? Guys, it looks like this whole video, I'm gonna disagree with Fredo pretty much for everything, okay? I kind of agree with him, he can't win, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But, um, yeah, okay. This is Fredo's problem, okay? Logan Paul had the same problem, now he's fixed that problem, okay? As he said, okay, all these people are around him, they come into him for support or whatever, like, yo, I need money for my family, all that kind of stuff. So it is in their best interest to be on Fredo's 100% good side. So they're going to be yes men. So when Fredo's like, I'm going to hold this SSH event in New York during the midst of a global pandemic. It's going to be crazy. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. And then stuff like this happens where everyone hates you. You get on drama alert. Obviously, Fredo does not care at all. I don't think Fredo cares in the slightest. Okay, I think Fredo loves the drama. I think he... he, he I think he thrives in it to be honest, he's like that kind of person. But um Logan Paul fixed that problem. He had like Dwarf Mamba, all those kind of people around him where he was buying them crazy stuff. So they all just want to be on his good side. Dwarf Mamba literally lives off uh Logan Paul, okay? Like he literally stays with him pretty much I think rent free. Fredo took him out of college and was like, yo, stay with me, I'll pay for everything, we good. So he just had yes men around him. He came back and then he hired uh, Mike Malak. And Mike Malak, his job is to disagree with Logan Paul. Okay, obviously they're great friends now, but his job coming in there was to disagree with Logan Paul so Logan Paul doesn't mess up. And you guys, if you guys watch Logan Paul's podcast, he's always talking about, you know, I send Mike all these texts, everything. Everything before I send it goes through Mike and Mike tells me no pretty much every time. Fredo needs someone like that. I'm still with the same nigga that I came with, bro. Like, like the shit is just mind blowing. Like, I feel like a lot of people they get upset at me, like in the YouTube community, because I don't fuck with them. And it's and it's not for no like personal shit. Like, yes, I am a very like like reserved person. Like, I'm a loner, my nigga. Like the niggas that I'm around, I trust them. I trust. Trust is a big thing for me. So I stick with these niggas. That's as hard as they ride for me. I'm riding for these niggas, bro. I really go hard for these niggas. My nigga just dropped a line, shout out to my dog. Oh, yeah. He just dropped a car, he went fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? All support. And guess how much Guess how much money? I'm promoting this nigga shit. How much money am I taking away from your shit, bro? Zero. Come on, bro. L let me Not say this again. Penny, bro. <laughs> how much money am I taking away from your YouTube channel? Not one penny. How much money am I taking away from any member in SSH's YouTube channel? Bro, not a cent, bro. Not a single <laughs> fucking dime. But you know what? Y'all niggas didn't know that. Y'all thought I was finessing these niggas. Y'all thought I was using these niggas. No, I really want to see these niggas come up and eat the same way that I am. So how... Can they not show me the same love that I'm showing them? That's crazy, bro. Just because y'all don't see it right. don't mean that it's not it's not there. Like, it's... With SSH, this is a brotherhood. Like, these really my brothers. I've really known this nigga for over 10 years. I really knew this nigga for over, like, four years. Four, four years. years. Like, these yo, LD2K, whatever the fuck your name is, bro. <laughs> bro, I respect your sister for being on the front line, like, but, uh, like, for real. And I'm going to tell you why. This nigga used to follow me, right? Before this, this shit, he used to follow me, dog. You could have simply DM'd me on some cool shit. He could have easily DM'd me, bro. Nah, bro, you gotta get a couple likes, don't you? You gotta get some attention, right? You gotta get some likes, right? Yo, clock, shout, out, shout out to your sister for being on the front line, man. Like I said, man, my event was for charity purposes only, my nigga. Black Lives Matter charity. Like, I wouldn't want people going through this shit. I really didn't. I made a mistake. 
can an honest person make a mistake? But LD2K, you a hoe for that. I'm, ain't gonna, I'm not gonna cap you a hoe for that because like you could have simply DM'd me on some cool shit, but nah, you, 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 you're a glazy, bro. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. We six minutes in it. This nigga had to have hit on like 10 topics, bro. Like, I know. <laughs> I, I kind of agree with Freya here. He could have just DM'd him and be like, yo, Freya, what, what the hell are you doing? But at the end of the day, is that don't accomplish anything because you already did it? He's just kind of annoyed. You can see how these two cats wait. He's clearly just annoyed. But the better thing would have been to do is just to DM Fredo and be like, yo, what is he doing? I'll agree with that. But also, you're pretty boy Fredo, okay? You're pretty boy if, Like, what is the chances of you actually replying or even seeing his DM? Actually, I guess no, LD2K is verified, so who knows? And this right, video is 25 enough. minutes long, bro. I'm not watching. This nigga's boring. I'm not watching bro. all of this shit. Bro, I'd be damned if a nigga that looks like this, bro. <laughs> I'd be damned if a nigga like this, bro, gonna tell me how, who I am and what? My nigga, you don't know who I am. You don't know where I'm from. You don't know where I'm going. It's funny, but <laughs> what the hell does looks have to do with IQ? Going, my nigga, you will never relate to me ever in your entire life, and I'm positive, one million percent, that you would never say any of this shit in real life. I'm one million percent positive of that, and if you don't think so, my nigga, I, 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 I let me go ahead and send this DM right now, bro. Let me send this DM right now. Pull up to, I'm, I'm gonna type right now, nigga. Pull up to New York. Also cool, chill. Also some cool, cool shit. Cool I got, shit, I got your flight, bro. Honestly, look, I slid it. Look, I'm, I'm on the DM right now, bro. All right, give me your name. Give me your, your birthday. <laughs> that would be lit, Agent Zero. Please do it. And I, here's the thing, right? As I said before, I know Agent's just gonna be like, oh, he unblocked Agent. That's cool. Because <laughs> Agent was blocked. <laughs> He's gonna be like, yo, oh, hi, Fredo. How's it going? And then they don't sit down. They don't have a conversation. I don't know if they don't do a podcast or whatever. That would make the most sense. And Agent's gonna be like, you messed up. You messed up. I don't disagree with that. No, cool. You fake prank. Like, I don't think Agent has anything to hide. So I feel like that's just on Agent's brand. Like, that's who he seems to be. Fredo, on the other hand, I don't think he's gonna go crazy. Like, I don't think Fredo is this person, okay? I think this is an extreme exaggeration of his personality. Obviously, I think he's a, probably a lit person. But then can he do this like when he sit down for an hour and have a conversation and actually hate call me hate Agent Zero and like be like Yo, what is he doing? Like can he press him for a full hour? I wanna see this so bad, Agent Zero, you have to do it. Okay, bro, I'll fly you out to New York on some cool shit, bro. You wanna kick it, you wanna talk on a one-on-one? We can do that. You wanna you wanna box on a one-on-one? We can do that. Whatever you wanna do, we can do it, but I wouldn't do all this talking, my nigga, for the past three, four, five years if you ain't really about that shit and like you don't know me. That's female shit. Bro, that's, that's some female. Bro. That's some eating shit. Like that's that's Eater, some, bro. that's you. But also, I know Agent Zero do not want to go. To, probably is not gonna want to go to New York. Take the time. Take all that time. Gr stop grinding his YouTube. All that kind of stuff. Because right now he's on top of the world. Like his little circle. Eater. You want eater? So you gonna get flued out like one? <laughs> Yo, we gonna, <laughs> yo, this about to get flewed out. Yo, bro, we finna fly you out, bro. We gonna fly you out to New York. Come to New York, bro. Look, I won't be with these niggas. No security, no nothing. I'll really, I'll, I'll pick you up at the airport. Big body. I'll do you just like I do my eaters, nigga. Big body. Pick you up, you know, take you, you know what I'm saying? Like, Not even just him. This goes out for everybody that's talking about yes mans around him, but we yes mans. When he wrong, I'm gonna I'm tell him he's wrong. And when he's right, I'm gonna tell him he's right. But when he's wrong, I'm still be behind him like he's right, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm always be behind him and that we always gonna be behind each other. Then what happened? What happened with the SSH rally? If that's the case, what happened? Because obviously when you're the one organizing that stuff and you're hyped up, I can see how you'd forget about all like that other stuff, okay? You just wanna do it. But for all the people around you, there has to be one per, just at least one person that's like, yo, this is a stupid idea. Let's not do this. Let's everyone calm down. Let's fix the problem. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way not one person had thought that. They may have just been too scared to say it. And that's why they, they yes, man. It's a family. It's, it's loyalty. loyalty. It's loyalty. For real. It's man. called loyalty. A lot of y'all niggas want to understand that shit. You'll, Yo, you'll, you'll flip out, you'll switch on your nigga just because he made a wrong decision. Would. Like, if these niggas wrong, they do something wrong, I'm going to tell them, I'm going to do the same shit. I'm going to tell them that they wrong, but I'm going to stand behind them because I'm going to give them an opportunity to make themselves better. All right? Everybody on this earth, we all fucking human. We all make mistakes, my nigga. It's inevitable. Nobody is perfect Perhaps. on this earth. Stop hating on the yeah, no one is perfect, Fredo, but a team, you couldn't have one person in SSH. I know you have like five or six people, I don't even know. But you have a solid amount of people behind you. No, you tell me not one of them was like, yo, this is probably not a good idea. We should probably not do this. Everyone, let's calm down. There's a global pandemic. This is not the right time to do it. I tell me there's not one person. And if, if there were, because if you're saying that they tell you when they're wrong, okay? Then you either heard them and was like, yeah, nah, screw your opinion. And then they're just forced to say it. Yes, like, <laughs> like. The next nigga, LMAO. Get some money, 100 emoji. Why do y'all think that making money makes you any less or more of a good human? Look, nobody's, nobody's not saying making money make you this and that. But somebody's saying, instead of hating on the next nigga, instead of eating good all some, day, go get some, some money. Money. Something that can really benefit you, you feel me? Like, I'm trying to be calm. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be calm. Yo, like, pipe up. Bro, I'm getting pipe tired. Up. Like, I, I like, don't care. Pipe I'm up. Saying, pipe like, up because it's oh, true. Like, we're not saying so that. Bad. We're not glorifying money. All we're saying is that instead of tweeting some negative and some hating that shit, go get you some bread. Go, go help your family. Go do this. Go do that. I'm not going to lie. The first time I saw Fredo's tweet, that's how I saw it. And then Agent Zero did twist my opinion. Okay, I thought it was funny. But I never was like, took that against Fredo. I'm not saying that money is everything. No one, I've never tweeted that. I've never tweeted or ever said money is everything. <laughs> We're literally saying, instead of using your time to tweet, get you some money. Get you some bread. Facts. You made not like That's one, facts. not two, not three, not four, not four. You made at least a good 10 videos in the past three. Actually, now that I rethink about it, in Agent's case, okay, obviously there's a ton of people hating on a Fredo that didn't actually make a video on it. But in Agent's case, he, uh, he made a tweet about it. He hyping everything up. No, he actually didn't make a tweet about it. He making the five, six videos. They pull a million views each. He making money. He making the money, okay? Four years, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about you is literally like, it's, you're, you're, I ain't gonna lie, you're eating. You're eating. Off of eating. another nigga's name. <laughs> and then that nigga is my brother, you know what I'm saying? So I had to speak on it. And that's just some brother shit. Like, he brought it to my attention. It's like, right. you a dick eater. This, this nigga need to be pressed. Point blank, period. Like, you like motherfuckers on YouTube like there's no like I usually don't say shit so they just feel like they can say whatever they want right. and it's crazy I never I don't I, this is not beef for me like it's not this is not no beef shit I don't beef with niggas bro but it's never a nigga that have more subscribers than me any nigga that has ever talked to my name has never had more subscribers than me it's always somebody below me drama look has talked bad about you. I remember, I remember you when you did the event. Uh, Keemstar did say this was stupid. Obviously, he didn't make a full video on it because that doesn't make sense for Keemstar. But he has talked bad about your name. Not, to, not. Bro, I want to be afraid of like I want to be nice to afraid of it, okay? Because I like afraid of videos, all that kind of stuff. But he is not being easy to agree with right now, just because I watch so much. Like I know. I feel like I know Agent's side better than Fredo's side because I watch a lot of Agent. Like, I watch all these podcasts. I heard I heard Agent talk about it for way longer than I've heard Fredo talk about it. So just naturally, based on, like, time, I, I kind of know Agent's points better than I know Fredo's points. You know, like, you know, like, if I heard Fredo's videos first, be like, yo, this is not for PR, all that kind of stuff, I'd probably be like, yo, I'm on Fredo's side. But because I heard Agent Zero say it so many times... It's kind of like stuck in my mind, you know? Like, I feel like, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Before I was gonna say something else. What are they talking about? I'll see if I remember it. And I wonder why. For the time. Oh yeah. 
Why the hell is someone bigger than you? Like, <laughs> if someone's probably more views than you, then they don't need to go out of their way to like make a video on you because they're making more views, getting more views. If they're smaller than you, they're trying to grow. Okay, you punch up, you don't punch down. When you punch down, you just look like an idiot. Okay, there's a very few people that can punch down well. Leafy is here. Was the only really good example that someone that can constantly punch down and do well. Okay, not too many people can punch down because then you're just bullying the smaller guy. If you punch in up, then no one really cares. Type of person to kick a man when it's down. Now, I'm gonna ask you guys a question Has this nigga ever posted anything positive about me? Of course not. In these course. three to five years, have y'all ever seen him post anything positive? Come on, nah. a YouTube video, I just a tweet, know. anything. I just know you haven't. I'm not saying you know what I'm saying, clearly, I'm sorry, right. but I just know you haven't, bro. So, Ice Podcast, he. I'm not even sure if he said it in the videos. Say so he, he, I know if Agent Zero has said Fredo makes entertaining videos. When I listen to a nigga, and he credited you on 2K16. Everyone credits you on 2K16. How lit you made the community. Only point out my mistakes and doesn't praise me when I'm up. I'm not saying that I need praise when I'm up, but don't kick a man when he's down because you have that opportunity. Do it all the way around, my nigga. Do it all the way around. If you're going to be a reaction, like, fan-based ass nigga, then do it all the way around, my nigga. React to the good shit, too, my nigga. Like, that's some sucker shit. That's some ooh shit. That's, you an eater, my nigga. You are opportunist. That's what opportunists do. They wait until they have an opportunity to kick you while you're down, and they never want to praise you while you're up. I guarantee you this nigga has never said anything positive about me ever in his entire ever. life. You fanned out, you capped out, and you glazied out, my nigga. You got the shit down your throat. I got people around me that really from the hood, bro. That's why I don't really expect a lot of people to relate. I got niggas talking to me about FaZe Clan this, FaZe Clan that. We on SSH, we on a different time, bro. We on a way different time. I represent the minorities. I represent the people in the struggle. I'm representing the people that don't have that opportunity. I'm giving these people the opportunity. Hands free. Hands free. I take nothing from these niggas but their time. But their time and their energy and their loyalty. And I give them the same shit back. Honey, it's fine. That is that is that is a real last nigga. And if you can't respect that, then I don't need your respect, my nigga. I don't need nobody in the YouTube community. I don't need your respect, nigga. You just gotta accept it. SSH is on the rise, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, my nigga, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Like, the shit was boring as fuck doing this video, bro. Like, we went on, uh, hopped on Instagram Live. I done changed and everything, my nigga. But there's much important things in this world than to be hanging on another nigga and be fanned out for three to five oh, years, my nigga. Should. Like, get a new hobby. Like, that Fredo shit is dead. I DM'd you, all right? I could slide you out to New York whenever. You can meet up with me. You want to chop it up? We could do that. If you don't want to do that, I don't want to hear shit. If you not- Please, Asian, bring low and do a podcast. On that type of time, I don't want to hear shit. I want to see a two, three hour podcast. Let this nigga know what's up. Like, you gonna act on that or you not? If not, don't want to hear donate. Shit. Just go ahead and do your donation. Go ahead and move about your day, bro. Because we on a whole different type of time. I want to thank you to all the supporters that are constantly supporting through all the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it sucks that my supporters have to see bullshit like that and they recommend. I had so many fans texting me like, yo, this nigga talking shit. Yo, this nigga talking shit. My fans are tired of seeing you dick eat. Like, like seriously, they're sick of that shit. And, and shout out to all the, the loyal supporters. I appreciate the love. Shout out to the 2K community. I appreciate the love. I would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. I'm forever thankful. I'm forever embedded in that. Like, for real, I am. I'm thankful. I don't have to say it every day to let it be known. I want to see my brothers at 10 mil, all right? I want to see everybody in SSH on 10 mil. Yo, if you, you watching this stream, mil, if you what? watching this video, you doing YouTube, whatever, I hope you get that job you wanted. I hope you get that interview you wanted. I hope you get them that, that thousand subscribers you wanted. I hope everybody watching this has some type of positivity, motivation Actually, you know, to get to channel, their goals, because that's what it's about. Subs. Reaching them goals and ask it and also when the hate don't work they start telling lies bro just because i don't respond nope. that doesn't mean it's real all right just because I, i'm not gonna be responding to a bunch of niggas with 200k 300k 500k 1 mil 2 mil i don't give a damn i'm not responding to you niggas i'm not i'm not doing it just because i don't respond don't mean it's real just because i don't have time for this shit i'm on a, i'm on a whole different other time bro we trying to get to 10 mil by any mean necessary bro necessary. any mean necessary i'm getting the 10 mil and i'm getting my brothers with me Point blank period. Man, but get that glizzy out your mouth. We out. <clears throat> hey, remove the glit. Get you some pussy. Get you some. Man, get you some. Man. 
Now I have a lot of opinions on this video, okay? I'm not gonna lie. As I said, I'm I came in into I how much oh, whoops. As I said, I came into this oh my dad, is my camera lagging it hella hard? Who even knows? Um I came into this being like Yo, yeah, I low key wanna be on Frodo's side, okay? I like Frodo a lot. I feel like most people don't hate on him. As you guys can see, I hit that like and subscribe button first thing I did, you know what I'm saying? But first things first, I do not think Fredo should have posted this video. <laughs> uh, 100% I don't think it, this video does not benefit him at all. In fact, I think it made him look worse. If I'm being honest. The only real things he said was he kind of twisted some truths at the start of the video. Okay, to make Agent look like a bad person. And then he said the reason he donates from charity is because he's black and from his, he's from the hood. Which is like... So it's like you don't have any moral values, you're just doing it because you feel like you have to. Like, I'm not trying to twist your words again, but like... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I feel like that's just like a cheap out. I don't know. I don't know, I could be wrong. And then the other thing you really just did was name call. That's really all you were doing. It felt like... Yeah, just like... 8th grade insults, to be honest. As I said, I like Fredo. But I watch him for entertainment. Okay, I think he's very entertaining. And he's one of those people that you definitely want to be around. Because if you're around him, your day is probably going to be a better day. Okay? But does that mean... That he's the smartest person on planet Earth. No. Just because you got all these people around you, you're not taking anything from them. Does that mean they're yes men? Absolutely not. Like, does that mean they're not yes men? Absolutely not. They are. Okay. <laughs> if you try to convince me otherwise, you literally can't. Also, oh, wait, never mind. That's one of the things I was going to say. You need someone like Mike on your team, okay? I don't know. You need to hit up Logan Paul, okay? You cloud it like that, so you probably can. Just hit up Logan Paul and be like, yo, how do I get a mic? Because if you had a mic and you sent him this video, he's going to be like, absolutely do not post this. Okay, it doesn't benefit you at all whatsoever. In fact, you were kind of the dude that was too cool to respond to anyone, okay? Like, like you're not getting a response from Fredo, okay? Like, like, if you make a video on Fredo and you think you're getting a response, you is stupid, you know? You're stupid. But you responded, you kind of ruined that reputation. You're not as positive as you hating on someone now, which is exactly what you're mad at them for. You kept saying it was a 25-minute video. You made a 25-minute video pretty much saying the same things over and over again. As you said, though, it was <laughs> kind of boring. Um... Yeah, Fredo, just stick to making entertaining content, please. Um, <laughs> no cap. Keep doing your thing, okay? Um, keep donating lots of money for videos, making it back. You know what I'm saying? That's the smartest way to do it. Um, agent, please, please fly out there. Please fly out. You and Lo, fly out, make a podcast. Please, I think it would be probably one of the most entertaining things I would have ever listened to in my life. I'll do a full one hour reaction. Um, shout out SSH with a gang. I look, he want one of those hoodies. I remember when he did the gold ones. I don't know if, what song was he doing? He had like these gold SSH hoodies. He only had like a hundred and he gave them away for free. I wanted one of them so bad. Couldn't get one, unfortunately. Yeah, we came in the cut like Fredo. Hey. Saucer Alfredo, a hey. two four like I'm Kobe left hand like Ginobili guys, I'm out. See ya. So I'm pushing the phantom to attack her and bleed Step one foot and trap and they catch you. Black flames will run the gang. I'm a trash. I've been in these streets. Character respects for herself, no dubbing on me. I'm chilling with my niggas, you say ninjas like Shinobi.